Hello, everybody. Craftsman channel. I got a John Deere LA 105 with a 46 inch plow. Manual, of course. But um, <clears throat> it was a bit of a hassle, but uh, we got it. Some of the bolts didn't seem to be the right size and then you know trying to figure out which one's going where and what have you but uh, once you get that figured out it actually goes by pretty quick um, but you know not well so it took me a lot longer than somebody else might have and if you guys want to look up how to assemble it and why not you can do that on YouTube there's a guy that's got a, a video I'm just basically showing you mine so you guys can get a good look at some of the parts and stuff because they really didn't have a lot of pictures or nothing on it so I figured I'd try to help out and make a video see these brackets Supposed to be another bolt going there too. I gotta get was missing a few parts and nuts and bolts and what have you. So, but we got it together. It took a good eight hours, I'd say. So, and these are the tire chains. I got mine on the third link. So they're snug. But yeah, that was fun, but uh, my back is, feels like it's about to go out and just really took the energy out of me, you guys. It just, man. Um, a lot of money for that rascal. Um, basically, you hold this in and push or pull it. I'll get it to turn. to adjust my ski spring I can tighten and loosen it I got mine a little tight took this off and the hood just slides out it's not really hooked to nothing so the hood just comes right out but there's two there's two right here you take those out and then that muffler plate comes off and you can get in here and do that but It, uh, all in all, it turned out okay. Like I said, uh, some of the parts, <clears throat> some of the nuts and bolts and washers and stuff were not in there, but it really didn't matter anyway because I think I'm only missing two, uh, two lock, locking, uh, uh, two lock nuts, so... <clears throat> Won't be nice and pretty and yellow for long. 
But yeah. That basically took the life out of me on that one. My back hurts so freaking bad right now. And I gotta get a battery. And uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do an oil change too. I'm gonna put in, uh, see look at my poor die hard. Got uh, seven years out of that battery. Terrible. That's the way she goes. But it's nothing real fancy. It's uh, moderate on the assembly. So, you know, plan it to take a whole day. But uh, once you figure out where, which bolts go where, it doesn't really matter. It uh, gets it done and. Uh, It says for 100 series. <clears throat> Even you know mine's an LA-105. It'll fit on a D-105 too. And uh, I don't know which other, which other models, but it'll fit all those D-100 series. And uh, see mine's a 100 series. But... That's a little awkward, but because you got to actually lean down. But You'd have thought that they would have made that stronger. You see, now it's pretty good there, but it sure does flex. Down there. Oh my god, my back. But anyway. If you guys want further information, you can look that up on YouTube. And there, and there's a there's a guy that did a video on assembling it. There's no way I could have shot a video assembling it in eight hours. That would have been I would have had to do a segment and then edit and then do a segment and then edit, edit and I don't do all that. One shot, one kill. Once I shoot it, that's it. I usually don't edit. So. But. Um, just some more pointless entertainment. Thanks for viewing.